Kroger's proposed acquisition of Albertsons, which is already raising the hackles of some regulators? Well, we, we have great relationships with both Kroger and Albertson, and we look forward to working with them. Uh, you know, when they become one company, but, uh, you know, we have a terrific relationship with each of those customers. What does that productivity look like? And I asked that on a day where we got another productivity read in terms of macro data, where uh, we're basically seeing signs that that's declining here in the U.S. economy on a macro level. In this video, we see the added power of a stock bargain purchase. My stock's CalCap can be found at www.frips.com, that is, frips.com. On the left hand side, I have the basic time value of money calculator, to compute the future value of an investment, given the interest rate and number of years. With no bargain, $100,000 growing at 10% over 10 years, yields around $259,374. Next, if we are purchasing a stock that is a 25% bargain, relative to its true intrinsic value, we are actually starting with, a present value of $125,000. In this case, the 25% bargain purchase, over 10 years, gives us an effective annual return of around 13.2%. Just a quick video clip of a new feature on my software. When I click on the blue area here, I can make the toolbar shrink and then be able to view a page much better. And then I click it again and it expands back to the normal size. Remember, this one makes it shrink. This one brings it back to normal size. This one brings up all the tools. Time, Time is the friend, friend of the of wonderful, wonderful business, business, the enemy of the mediocre. mediocre. You, you might think, think this principle is obvious, obvious but I had, had to learn it the hard way. way. In, In fact, fact, I had, I had to, to learn, learn it several times over. over. Periodically, as alternative paths become unattractive, repurchases make good sense for Berkshire's owners. During the past two years, we therefore repurchased 9% of the shares that were outstanding at year end 2019 for a total cost of $51.7 billion. That expenditure left our continuing shareholders owning about 10% more of all Berkshire businesses, whether these are wholly owned, such as BNSF and GEICO, or partly owned, such as Coca-Cola and Moody's. This video is brought to you by Bud Levitan, author of The Four Filters Invention of Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger.